So today it is time to springify my room. And if you don't know what that means, it means it's just time to add some nice spring vibes into my bedroom. I am a person who likes to decorate my room and redecorate my room constantly. I absolutely love home decor, pretty much anything revolving around home. I definitely love keeping my space super nice and cozy and warm and very comfortable and as much as I love that, I feel like that doesn't exactly fit spring. So my goal for today is to create a nice colorful space that feels like spring but still feels very comfy and cozy. So if you would like to learn my tips and just fun things that I like to do in order to achieve this, keep on watching. Over quarantine, I have been collecting plants like no other. I think that plants are just the most amazing piece of decor and just something that brings a little smile to my face. So my first tip for decorating for spring is to make your house or room a little mini plant sanctuary. I mean, you don't have to take it that far, but I highly, highly recommend adding at least one to two plants to your room. Bring a little bit of the outside inside and just experiment with having a little bit of life inside. On this shelf, I added a nice little stack of books. I thought that this was a fun way to showcase some colors and I added two of my favorite books, which are Cozy and The Little Book of Huga. And I added these two little plants. One's a succulent and I don't know what the other plant is, but I thought it was super cute. And then on the first bookcase, I have a little fake plant that I got from Target a couple years ago. Okay, now moving over to my second bookcase, I am adding these two other plants that are a little bit bigger. I have a bit more space here, so I wanted to fill them up. If you're looking to get plants, I recommend getting a couple different sizes and heights to add into different kinds of spaces that you have in your home. And then I added this little cacti onto my bookshelf. It actually fits perfectly and adds some interest when you look at it. And I love to keep my spray bottle behind that little piece of artwork. It keeps it super accessible, but you can't see it if you're looking straight at my bookshelf, which is great. And then next to this stack of books, I wanted to add another plant, so I put it right here and it conveniently hides my sound machine that I use when I sleep. Clearly, I love to put plants wherever I can, so moving over to my nightstand, I added a couple little plants. The one that's flowering, I actually just got today. And then I added the book that I'm currently reading and my bowl where I put my jewelry before I go to bed. And to finish off phase one of decorating, you guessed it, a few more plants. On my windowsill, I just added a couple of the smaller ones that I didn't really have anywhere else to put them and I am so happy with how it all looks. One thing that always makes a room feel super cozy is a great candle. Now, you may not be thinking that spring and candles really go together, but trust me on this if you want a nice cozy feeling in your room, but you still want that nice spring feeling, just grab a nice spring smelling or spring colored candle. I went out and I got this nice sweet pea candle. It's bright pink and then this home linen candle. I don't know about you, but the smell of laundry actually makes me really happy. And then this is one candle that I'm currently using and it's almost gone. So I am happy to have a couple backups. I decided to light the sweet pea candle. It truly just smells like my childhood. All right, we have the plants, we have a nice ambiance. Now let's get a little bit more into decor. So I have this great fluffy chair and I really wanna start sitting in it in the morning and journaling and reading. I currently have it decorated a bit more for the cooler seasons. So I added this watercolor pillow that I had. I feel like the watercolor really just makes me feel a little bit more light and springy. And then I wanted to keep a blanket here cause it does still get cool in the morning. So instead of having the dark red, I added this nice white one that was originally on my bed. 
as I mentioned before, I want to start journaling in this corner. So instead of keeping all my pens and pencils in this box, I decided to take one jar out. I know I have a lot. It's a problem. <laughs> and so I set it right there so it'll be super accessible in the mornings. And then I brought my stack of journals and my Bible and my gratitude journal. So it'll be right here next to the chair with the pens right there. Super, super convenient. And now I really don't have any excuses not to be doing these things. I think what really helped my room feel like it was getting ready for a different season was changing up my bed. I started with removing the blanket that I had there and then I remembered that this comforter is reversible so I swapped it out. I felt like this side was so much more summery and springy and just more colorful than the other side. Once all of the pillows were on, I added the final touch, which was this quilt that I made several years ago. I'm not sure if it's a little bit too much when you look at it, but it definitely has the spring colors that I'm looking for. And that was the final thing that I felt like I needed to do in order to make my room feel like it was ready for spring. My candles going, all the plants are in their places. I got a great new cozy reading slash journaling corner. I think that it was a pretty good process. You can let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and even share this video with someone else that you think would benefit from a nice spring room revamp. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!